Yeah, he's not in good shape. Okay, what else we got around the level? Now, if we don't fall through the skylight. Well, that ain't good. My goodness. Whoa! You're doing the Dark Souls too. Just trying to land on people. Uh-oh. I'm glad that stopped him. Else that was that was gonna be my head on the chopping block. That's cool. We can look down there a little bit. All right. Nothing in the corner of secrets. Not even a secret. Dagger. A dagger fitted with aquamarine crystal, engraved with a prayer in the old tongue, the ward off incident. Perhaps it was a parting gift given to one sent off on great travels. Crystal blade released magic from the aquamarine crystals, creating a fleeting blue crystal blade. And good enough to swing as a straight sword. It is, it's an int item. Seems like a bit of a Dennis weapon. Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> keep holding it in order to keep it doing the, the sword bit and then otherwise it becomes a bit like a oh my goodness this is so strange and it's got its own set of heavy attacks its own set of light attacks this is nuts oh we have to look into like this this is a thing now This doesn't go anywhere else. It just brought me to the cool weapon and then it's done. Okay. I can dig it. Wow, that doesn't even like overweight me having this. Cool. Can't use it while I got the shield on though, else it will try and do a parry. Is this gonna is this gonna do the thing again? It is, isn't it? 
Ja. Okay, yeah. That area hurts like heck. How I'm going to survive this? This could be a problem. Okay, I have to trigger them all at once. This is where the guy fell off the roof of me, so I'm a little bit hesitant about, you know walking forwards. Down through the hole in the wall. Or no. So he is summoning, summoning them, like, in horrible positions at me. These guys are mean. Oh, he's gone. Okay. I don't think anyone was expecting that. It's like some kind of angel. But of death. going on here. Let's see if I can sneak up and see what this is. Take the plunge. Whoa! It's like a ghost of a guy. This is weird, man. Ooh, loot. 
Okay. Okay, I'm just gonna go for the loop. Knights or Balder Knights? Ah, they are Lord Run Knights because he's all the uh, cut your head off statues. Yep, okay. growing on them, which was a theme like right at the beginning of the game. It's, uh, hasn't been for a while. We had loads of people with bits of tree growing out of them super early on. Yeah, that had gone away. Oh, that guy was pointing down as well. I didn't even notice him the first time around. Okay. It's a bit of a long run to get back to where we were. I mean, it is a d and it isn't. If I do it better, then it won't take me long. That's why that other guy's not around the corner anymore. Once they cast that, that kind of makes them giant and rush you and then explode. And oh man, everything's just so crazy. So he's dead. He, he explodes to do that. All right. This is just off the chain. Oops. Still dropping Lothric Knight gear, okay. It's my house now. Come on, stagger, stagger, stagger. Not that I had enough energy to cast a spell. Hmm. Sounds incredibly sparkly here. I think there might, must be a Titanite uh, beetle just on the other side of this. Soul of a Crestfallen Knight. 
makes sense. Oh wow, it carries on round. I guess we will go more this way rather than the way with the laser death beam. Why not? Why does a statue have a real cape on it? It's a real red cape on a stone statue. Damn, those things are scary. Things that suddenly balloon up and then rush you are, are the worst. Salute. Prize did we win? Uh, some rusted coins. Yay. So this way is cool and all, but I wonder what's happening the other way. Oh, come on. What the heck's going on with that room? God, this level's so scary. <laughs> Stop dropping things and doing stuff. What even is that moving in front of me? That's not right. Wait, wait, wait. We're gonna need binoculars for this. What the heck? It's like a guy leant over with some kind of stomach pain. Oh dear, his enemy. I... I kind of feel sorry for the guy, I don't think I'm going to attack him. Another take the plunge. Hmm. 
I don't know. If I keep taking the plunge, then I can't go the other way and check out what we're doing over there. Oh no, it's one of the Dark Souls 2 giants. I think. Kind of melted into the floor. Okay, so how am I going to beat this room? I'm going to go take the plunge instead. Oh, whoa, more stuff? Oh, man, more stuff. How am I... How am I going to do that? Hmm. What's the banister like over this point? I mean, it is kind of tall enough to support me, but it's not... It's not in the right bit anymore. No, I'd need a jetpack to get up to that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna remember that this is here, though. So we don't have this bit full down. I wonder if that's anything to do with it. Oh, of course, this room's changed now that that thing's collapsed. Okay. Nice. Is that a guy? I think the the things stop shooting. Who this? Oh, look at you! You've got your head screwed on correct. Fantastic. To meet a kindred spirit on this God's forsaken crag, call me Lab. I, I can't remember my real name, so. Let's just go with that. I have a feeling we're going to make a fabulous team. Oh, you'll see. You'll see. Huh. Okay. There's something I should tell you. I'm a hollow. Yes. I try to play it off. But I haven't a clue about my past. Who I was. Or what I lived for. Not even my own blessed name. That's why I've come here, searching for the purging monument. 
said to be in the Ringed City, where the pygmies who found the Dark Soul at the Dawn of Fire reside. All I can say is, those little stones aren't doing much to help me remember anymore. <laughs> Well, that's the long and short of it. So if I completely forget who you are, don't be wroth with me. Come on, what else can I say? I'm a bloody hollow for heaven's sake. <laughs> well, that's the long and short of it. So if I completely forget who you are, don't be wroth with me. Come on, what else can I say? I'm a bloody hollow, for heaven's sake. <laughs> I know this voice actor. He played a character in Dark Souls 1 that kicked me off of a cliff into a load of Nito's followers. I'm sure it's him. And then I went back up there and he's all like, oh, you survived, please forgive me. I have these urge to, uh, to, to rob people, but we'll be cooler, right? Well, that's the long and short of it. So if I completely forget who you are, don't be wroth with me. Come on, what else can I say? I'm a bloody hollow, for heaven's sake. <laughs> They've muffled his voice a little bit with the helmet. But that is so him. I wonder if that's supposed to mean anything. That's where I was supposed to take the plunge. So I've taken the high road version of somewhere else. What does this exactly get me? What is that horrible stomping sound? Oh dear, one of them big boys. 